1690 WVON. Now you official now, but you got a soul to say. I just been clicking that note. I'm about to drop in a few. Think if I call it the great, the people gon' call it the truth. Bismillah Rahman Rahim, brothers and sisters, welcome to Straight Words on WBON 1690. This is the talk of Chicago. Brother Nabi Richard Muhammad, the editor-in-chief of the Final Call newspaper. Brother James G. Muhammad, the dean of editors. He's a contributing editor of the Final Call newspaper. And, of course, yours truly, Brother B.J. Murphy. We are here with you every Tuesday night from 9 until midnight. And uh, so glad to have you here, brother. Uh, you can jump on the phone lines. we got some good conversation tonight about the crime and the violence in the city of Chicago and all over the country. 773-591-1690. 773-591-1690. So, brothers, assalamu alaikum to you all. How y'all doing tonight? Wa alaikum salam, uh, brother BJ. I'm doing very well. <laughs> Praise be to Allah, man. I uh, want to apologize yes, to the audience, man, for the technical delay. Then I pray a lot that they were patient enough to stay with us. But while we weren't, were having, trying to get things fixed, man, I got my spiritual AK-47 with me. I had a chance to go get some more ammo, man. So okay, go we're re- we, we ready to blast, brother. I mean, I, I'm loaded now, man. So, they could have gave me that right. minute, man. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. I saw my brothers. Hey, look, we got, uh, so yeah, we had a little technical problem tonight, brothers and sisters. We are going to try to go straight to Sister Patrice Muhammad. um, And she's going to talk to us about something that a lot of us are dealing with or will be dealing with, which is taking care of uh, our parents as they age, as they get older. And she's a doctor. Yeah, let's bring, bring Sister Patrice right on there. She's been waiting long enough. We're going to get into this. 773-591-1690, brothers and sisters, call in um, and join this conversation. Dr. Patrice. Yes, sir. How you there? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Well, look, real quick, give give our audience, we got Brother James G. Muhammad, our co-host, and Brother... V.J. Murphy of um, Black Radio Hall of Fame, our other co-host. Give us 30 seconds about uh, who you are, and then we're going to get right into the subject. Yes, sir. Well, greetings, you all. I am Dr. Patrice Muhammad, um, a member of the Nation of Islam since birth, <laughs> and currently um, I uh, am practicing medicine at uh, the Salam Community Wellness Center which is on the on the Woodlawn area, uh, south side of Chicago, uh, primary care there, and also alternative health uh, also being practiced there. And that's and that, and we're looking for patients, and we're we're ready and waiting for the community to come in. Well, give us the address, Sister Patrice, because you're right next door to Let's Eat the Live. Absolutely. And the address is 613 East 67th Street, right next door to our Eat Let's Eat to Live restaurant. So brothers and sisters, look, we got a little we got a little uh development we're developing there. So come on by, get yourself something to eat. And we'll actually see Sister Patrice first. Yeah. Come on well in the center, then go next door and get something to eat. Sister Patrice, one one of the things that um wanted to talk to you about is something that many of us find ourselves facing, which is taking care of our parents as, as, as they get older. Um, talk to us about that. And you're actually dealing with that on a personal level in addition to a professional level. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's been quite, um, I would say it's, it's been a, a long journey. Um, taking mm. care of uh, actually both of my parents before my father passed, I took care of him and took care of my mother. And of course, uh, there is no um, job or goal greater than caring for your parents as they age. Um, mm. You know, we all have 
things that we want to do with our life. But uh, one thing that is primary and that we're taught in Islam is we need to take care of our parents. You know, we need to care for our parents, respect our parents, and uh, especially mom, <laughs> as we learn mother. Yes. And so, um, unfortunately, this country, I'm not sure about others, but I know this country in particular does not, um, they do not help aging people, period. Mm. There, there mm. really isn't, um, you know, it's really sad. It's really sad. People who have built this country and given their years to, you know, to the country and to the family. And then as they age and they need our assistance, they, you know, they're thrown in um, nursing homes or, or worse. And um, yeah. it's, it's, just, it's just a travesty. We don't have any programs for the elderly. Um, and God forbid they have to go into a nursing home or some mm-hmm. type of quote-unquote rehab facility. It is, mm-hmm. it is just, it's really sad. And it's, it's mm-hmm. heartbreaking um, mm-hmm. to see this. And mm-hmm. I'm currently taking care of my mom. She has been um, a pioneer in the Nation of Islam yes, for many years. Now, uh, you got to tell many, many years. Is, uh, Patrice, for those who don't know who she is, you got to tell her. Mm-hmm. You got to get some, yes. some her name. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Naba. Sister Gail Muhammad. Yeah. Sister yes, Gail yes. Muhammad. Here yes. at Mosque uh, Number 2, here at Mosque Marianne. And she has worked for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan uh, for a, a, a yeah. bet of 25 years, 20, 25 years before mm. she um, developed multiple myeloma, which is a, mm. uh, for, it's really a form of um, like a, it's a bone marrow cancer. It's, it's mm. cancer of the plasma cells, which are from the bone marrow. And um, we don't know what causes it. You know, they, they have many um, speculations of what may cause yeah. it. But overall, there's no one thing that they can point to. We all know that this environment that we live in has plenty of possibilities because of the world that we live in, because of the diets that we have. So there yeah. are some uh, environmental causes. Uh, of course, when you look at you know, artificial sweeteners, you look at medications, oh, yeah. Um, pesticides, other toxic and dangerous chemicals. I mean, you can pretty much take your pick. Um, And so, you know, unless and until we clean up our environment, this is going to be um, an occurrence and it's growing. It, it It has absolutely grown to monumental uh, proportions and they have all these drugs. I mean, we, there's a new drug developed every day almost. And, mm-hmm. and some of these are to, quote, unquote, treat cancer. But why are the cases of cancer, the incidences of cancer going up? Why are they, why are they rising and they, at historic proportions right now as we speak? Ma'am, I tell mm-hmm. you, sister, your mother was always, has always so kind to me. I mean, just always a kind word, always a smile. And, and she would just, you know, I would just see her in, in, in the mosque, you know, in the basement of the mosque checking in. But she always has something um, positive to say to me. Let me let me get this in because I want to get this in. Then maybe we'll talk a little more. But I want to know um, what can we do, what can the listeners do to help you as you help a woman who devoted her life to the cause of Islam. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, all praise is due to Allah, sir. And I'm, I'm glad and I will make sure that I tell her, um, first of all, of you offering to give some information and a story about my mom and for mm-hmm. you to have such kind words for her, and that's my mother. She is, she's a sweetie. She is a sweetheart. Anybody who knows Mother Gail, Sister Gail, uh, but look, don't mess with her. Don't no, mess that's with her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that's right. what I was going to say, man. That's true right there, <laughs> boy. <laughs> that's true now. Uh, <laughs> she's a piece. She is a, she is, uh-huh. 
she is a jewel at heart, but she don't want, you know, she doesn't like people play. to be, uh, uh, yeah, she doesn't play. She doesn't like people to be okay. taken advantage of or somebody, you know, she's an advocate. Yeah. And what I'm doing right yeah. now is I am, um, I developed a website just for people who would like to donate oh, okay. or just share. If, you know, if they want to yeah. share. And it's, um, it's Gail's Alternative Treatment Fund dot go okay. site dot com. Okay. You got spell it. I want you, spell I, I want you to I want you to text that to me. Okay. Sister Patrice. And we'll yes. put it on our website and we'll put it in the in the chat for those that are for those that are um um listening or or tuning in via Facebook. And uh but definitely, you know, it's um you know, it's, 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 I tell you, sister, just, you know, and, 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 and we are at your service to whatever we can do to help you take care of your mom. You just, you just let us know, um, and, and, and we're there. We'll certainly start by, by telling this story. And in terms of you having uh, taken care of both your parents, are there any things that, you, that you've learned that you like to share that we need to be thinking about as we look at our parents and as, as they age and, and we know, we may not know, we may not think about the fact that they're going to need care, but any lessons, any experiences you can share with us? Well, yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, over the, I would say since 2013, so we're talking about 11 years that I have been intimately involved with taking care of my parents because before that mm. time, uh, they were, you know, they were mobile, they were active, they were, right. you know, still driving. My dad was 75, he was still working. So, oh, um, wow. you know, prior to that time, um, you know, you, you, you just look at your parents and you see how active they are. Now, yeah. as they're aging, what you need to consider and take into account as your parents are aging Make sure that you start uh, dedicating some time to um, to to talk to them, to ask mm. them about those things that are important to them. Because things that are important to us, you know, making sure okay they can do for themselves, making sure yeah that's important. But there are other things in life that they may want to do. They may want to right. take uh, a hobby. Uh, at that time, they may want to start going to see friends who they haven't seen in a while, who are passing on while while they're still here. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's important for us to to for us to realize that and make time. I know we're all busy; we all have something to do. But you only have two parents. That's all. You only okay. have two parents, so mm-hmm. you need to make time for them. And as you are making a way for them and they may be getting uh, some of the chronic medical conditions, it's, it's a good idea to start connecting to those senior community services ahead mm. of time. Because when you're thrown in those situations, uh, like I was just literally overnight, um, it's, it's, you're fumbling, you're trying to find resources, and you will eventually find them, but look at the time that you spend when you're scrambling. So it's good to be acquainted with the community services, uh, the senior community services, um, get some numbers, just, just to have those numbers also, and, and learning, um, um, connecting with some home health services. Because mm-hmm. while parents are at home, there are home health agencies that can come in. The nurse can come in once a week and check on your loved one. They may not be sick. Okay, maybe they say, I don't want anybody checking on me every week. Well, once every other week. But to have someone to check on you, on your parents, mm-hmm. if you're mm-hmm. not living with them or they're living on their own, because sometimes they want to still be independent. Mm-hmm. However, it's good for you to realize and take a stand when you see that your parent cannot be independent on their own. Mm. Do not take mm. the 
attitude of what she want to be on her own. So we'll just try to work around her. No. And I see that I do house calls. So I see aging mm. parents that are at, that are at home where their children have allowed them to just um, allow them to take care of themselves and allow them to make yeah. decisions for themselves because they're stubborn mm. or <laughs> because they're getting right. angry. No, right. yeah. you yeah. have to help them. You know, you have to help them. To help themselves. Yeah, right. You can't just say, oh, they they want to be alone and I, I'm just going to, okay, I'll just call them and check on them. I'll send my friend. No, 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 no. It's a mm-hmm. time when it's time for them to move in with, with you, you know, the person that's right. happening to move in. Or it's time for um, a loved one to move in with them. Or you may have to move them to an assisted living place. There's certain options. But please, please, please. Don't allow your parents to be alone when really they're showing signs that they really can't be alone. Right. And, exactly. uh, I see that all too often. You would think that that's something that, you know, people would know and that's something that they would, you know, take into account. But it's, it's, it's a sad reality that, that people don't. Yeah, in addition to that, Sister Tree, uh, they get taken advantage of by other people. Uh, Absolutely. You know, for example, contractors may knock at their door, uh, telling them they may need something on their house, and you know, rip them off, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I, I wanted to mention too that while while you're talking about we need to take care of our parents, sometimes we don't look at it that at one day we may be, and we will be in a similar condition, and depending on how well we take care of ourselves. We right. may need the kind of services that you're talking about that you're giving to your mom, but oftentimes we don't think of it that way. And so how would we want to be, like I'm sitting here right now, if I were to become incapacitated, you know, or, uh, you know, need help, what would, I want? what would I want? Would I want my children to put me into a, uh, a nursing home? Okay. So that's the way I, that's the way I think about it. But I wanted to ask Absolutely. this, and I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off the t- topic. But you said you were at the uh, Salam Wellness Center, uh, and you said something about alternative medicine. Can you just mention what do you mean by alternative medicine? Because most of us are uh, used to going to the doctor, the traditional doctor. Uh, he gives you a checkup. He sees you about five minutes, and then tells you what all you need and prescribes things that you probably don't need. Uh, so what do you mean when you say alternative medicine, and why is it important for us to understand what that is? Well, what I mean, alternative medicine um, is everything outside of conventional medicine. So just, you just name conventional medicine. You go to the doctor, they, they look at you, they, they prescribe you some pills for the increased blood pressure or for the diabetes. And so you're talking about synthetic chemicals. You're talking about synthetic chemical uh, medications that uh, are supposed to do a job and, you know, they just make you sicker. They, they eventually ruin kidneys and, and, and uh, liver. Um, with alternative medicine, we offer, uh, we offer whole food supplements because the body was designed to preserve itself and to heal itself if we gave it and give it what it needs. So if we give right. it what it needs, which is good, wholesome nutrition, then the body, that's, ha- that's more than half of the job there, just giving it good, wholesome nutrition so that it can plug in any gaps of nutrients that really start the body towards that, that, um, that spiraling towards bad health. So whole food, whole food supplementation, sometimes herbal supplementation, um, mindfulness. You know, we, we're, we're talking about the physiologic, the body, but also Mental health, having good mental health is very, very important because if you aren't thinking properly and you don't have balance of mind, then how can you take care of your body physiologically? You can't because you'll be confused. And so we have, uh, we also offer uh, mental health um, um, counseling. Uh, There's also um, acupuncture, um, acupuncture. deep breathing, um, massage therapy. So these are all the modalities of alternative medicine that we offer at Salon. But alternative, oh, man, if you just put a search, a search, 
mm-hmm. uh, put a search engine and put alternative medicine, you mm-hmm. would be amazed at all of the therapies outside of the conventional synthetic chemical medications that are of healing modalities, color therapy, light therapy, sound therapy. Oh, my goodness. All of those Mm -hmm. are alternative therapies. Mm -hmm. But we only offer just a few. We offer about four or five at uh, Salam Community Wellness Center. We will be adding to that. But we have four or five other options for you uh, at Salam Community Wellness Center beside the chemical synthetic medication. Thank you. Sir. Wow, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so, so Patrice, I, um, I did that back in 2007. Um, I actually left Chicago to go back to Goldsboro, North Carolina, my hometown. My mother had ovarian cancer and stayed with her until she passed away in 2009. So I definitely oh, know yeah. your, your sacrifice of what you're doing for your, for your mother. I mean, you think about it, there is, there is absolutely no way that we should leave our mothers alone during the time of them needing us. And I just, I just can't fathom the thought of putting your mother away because you're too busy. And I always think about, you know, like Brother James said, you know, when we get older, we're going to want somebody to take care of us. And depending on how you treated others, like the, the scripture says, as thou hast done, so shall it be done unto you. So we definitely yeah. need to uh, take care of our parents, sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I, reiterate I, that. I couldn't have it any other way. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So, Sister yeah. Patrice, we got about uh, five minutes. Get, first of all, we're going to have to bring you back because I think just um, so much information that you're giving so we definitely want to bring you back. Um, give us first the website again in terms of how we can, where we can go for more information, where listeners can go to help. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I just, um, I just did a text that to you. Okay. And very good. Yes. Yeah, so it's um, HTTPS and then the colon, forward slash, forward slash, and that's Gales, G-A-L-E-S, alternative, A-L-T-E-R-N-A-T-I-V-E, treatment, T-R-E-A-T-M-E-N-T, dot, oh, treatment fund, F-U-F-U-N-D, dot, go daddy, G O D A D D Y sites S I T E S dot com. All right, we will certainly get okay. that into the chat, and we'll get it on our, our little um, um, social media. We got about three minutes, and of course, that time is yours. Is there anything that else that you'd like to um, share with us? But we definitely want to have to bring you back. Um, but as brothers oh, and sisters, I look, back. Um, definitely go to that site and you, you, you can go to straight, um, you can go to my social media cause we're going to, we're going to post it there tonight. Okay. And then, uh, we're going to post it on our website, inshallah, uh, later tonight. And that's straightwords.com and you'll be able to go there and, and, and get this, but uh, go to go, go to it and give and and you know this is this is um this is our work and this is our community and this is my mother right you know it's not just it's not just oh uh, and the picture of them is so beautiful sister oh, and really her are so beautiful Thanks, yeah sir. okay well, well we got the- uh. Go ahead. Oh, just the, I, I don't have much to say, but thank you, thank you, thank you again for offering this. I mean, again, this is what our community should look like, mm-hmm. helping one another. Uh, I have yeah. always been one to help. I was born to help, and that's all mm-hmm. I do is help others. And so yeah. I'm thankful to Allah that he has allowed people like yourself 
uh, Brother Naba, to reach out and give, number one, uh, yourself. You have given, and for you to offer this on your platform to all of those who would be willing to give. And so, again, I thank you very much. I thank both of your co-hosts, Brother James, as well as Brother BJ. Yes, ma'am. I... I I thank you. I thank you so much for your kindness. Um, and may Allah continue to bless each and every one of you. Yes, ma'am. You as well. Yeah, Wonderful. Sister Patrice, you just, um, like I said, I just posted it on uh, on my on my Thanks. social media, on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm going to post it on X, then I'll get to the other places. But we certainly thank you for coming on. Uh, let's stay in Thank touch. You. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll bring you back and, you know, and you can talk about salon wellness. You can, you know, what, I mean, you, you, you really got a wealth mm-hmm. of information that, that our people need. So thank you for coming. And may Allah yes, bless you. you Please give, your, give my greetings and our greetings to your beloved mother. Amen. I definitely will. Thank you. You all, all have right. a good evening. Thank you again. You too. Alaikum. Right. Alaikum. Okay, Peace brother on. BJ, take us out okay. of here for the ten o'clock, man. All right, we got a powerful show. We got a powerful set coming up. We're going to talk about the violence in the city of Chicago, and we got some special guests. We'll give you some factual information that you could take with you uh, tomorrow as you go about your day. But brothers and sisters, we need your support. Help us keep this show on the air. We're moving up on our one year anniversary. Straight words. On Cash App, dollar sign straight words on Cash App, dollar sign straight words on Cash App, 312-480-9775 on Zelle, and on PayPal, straight words, the number four at gmail.com. We got some more ways on how you can support coming up during our next commercial set right here on WVON 1690's Talk of Chicago, y'all. The talk of Chicago and the voice of the nation is 1690 WVON, Berwyn, Chicago. I'm Vanessa Tyler. And I'm Mike Stevens on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Donald Trump 